Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the new TomTom Tom Bandit action camera, GPS action cameras, um, specifically spoken as GPS. It's a 1080p 30fps, so it's uh, it's uh, high resolution, not quite as high as uh, 4K, some of the ones like the I saw Edge we uh, reviewed, but it has some interesting features about it. So let's look inside the box. The camera itself, you'll notice, is not a GoPro clone at all. Um, it is a very distinctive shape. I think it's very attractive, actually. I like it, and I like this kind of swiveling bracket, which means you can you can be creative with your, your shooting. In the box, what you get is a very, very serviceable user manual. Um, running through all the uh, multilingual, of course, you, running through all the options. And also, you get a, um, a oh, I would say a modest set of accessories, a very modest accessory. You get a couple of sticky pads and a cleaner and a, a mount for a, a universal kind of clip mount for going into debt, various other things. Obviously, the company is trying to maximize the ability to make money out of accessories because they haven't given you many. Um, maybe we're, we're a little spoilt by some of the other products which come with uh, lots of accessories, but hey, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, this is a, a good camera in other ways. So what's unique about this? Well, we, number one, it's got a very, very cool charge and storage function or feature if you like so you just plug that straight into a usb to charge and also to, to data dump if you don't want to take out the micro sd card which is here which is very neat it's very easy <laughs> i like that idea you don't have to fiddle around with cables and all that kind of stuff you just have to take out the the battery block a nice uh, 1900 milliamp hour battery lodged in there which will give you a nice run time of, of a couple of hours um, which is great nowadays i mean this is exactly what you need for a, for an action camera or a camera of this kind the slightly interesting and unique way of of controlling it the, press this to turn it on um, and you get the menu uh, and functionality up there and then to turn it off you actually use this button here so it's a uh, it's on and off which is some people find a little fiddly some others don't you may notice that there's a little flashing um, icon in the top left there that's the gps part that's why they're calling it a gps camera because it automatically logs into a, the nearest satellites for you so you're always logging your geographic location as you're shooting the other thing I like about this is the actual UI for getting yourself around and it's quite simple. It's it's really just a, a press and swipe, uh, not swipe so much as press and slide. So that's camera, that's video, that's slow motion, time lapse, cinematic. And so it's very easy to get yourself into different areas. So if, always if you go down, you go to settings. So you can set the video size and the video view you have wide and normal views so you can get uh, different aspects when you record and of course you have the resolution size size um, so 60 720 by 120 slow motion up to 1080 30 fps which is you know as i say standard for these sort of things other things you can connect obviously to your phone uh, and to an app we'll show you that in a second and options for languages and beeps and lights and stuff like that and you can reset the the sd card it's all very easy to get to and when you want to record you just simply press that button and you'll see that comes up there is the record time as you do the thing it's easy to forget quite a lot when you first use it you press the red one again and what you're actually doing is highlighting a, a part of the clip instead of switching it off so you have to actually press that button and it that, that button is quite stiff so it's not it's not something you switch off your, or you turn off your video recording accidentally and it does give you a dip because you have to press it quite firmly and also to turn the unit off you have to press that quite firmly but those are those are not serious issues it's, it's a small quibbles if you like and I, I i just like the format of the camera a lot actually you also get the ability to swap out the covers for filters and things which is again adds an extra uh, element of of flexibility to the unit which i like again a lot it's 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 these sort of things that make the difference between something which is a, a product which has been thought about uh, and designed with user user value in mind, as opposed to something that's just been banged together. And uh, TomTom Tom have really done a, a good job on this, I think. 
Here's a, a last little interface here is just for an interface for if you're uh, slotting it into, uh, into an accessory. Right, to get the Wi-Fi working and your smartphone all happy with it, just cycle up and the Bandit will give you a passcode and a Wi-Fi um, ID. And then it's just a matter of finding the Wi-Fi ID on your phone and then putting in the passcode, at which point your phone connects just go to the app you get all sorts of uh, bits of course you have to have bits tap to connect and you're paired and that's it and there's your there's your camera in this uh, menu you've got the ability to take video photo wide angle photos slow motion all the kind of cool stuff you'll need as well as things like storing and archiving of, of your clips and the creator story, which is where you shake, a, shake the app to create a, um, a special, specially formatted video of your stunts <laughs> that you've taken on your camera. Yeah, it's cool. I, I, I like it. It has a, a, some cool stuff uh, it, it, and it works, which is always really good. <laughs> So there you go, the um, TomTom Bandit action camera. Really like it, L nice long battery life. It stores the battery, doesn't leak battery when it's off, which is great. Um, I love the simplicity of the downloading and unloading with the, the, the unit you take off. I mean, it's just a well-designed and very, very uh, easy to use product. It's unfortunate, I mean, in one way, the, the unfortunate part about it is, of course, being a, not a, a GoPro clone, you can't use any GoPro accessories. So you are limited to buying TomTom accessories to make it work, which is great for the company, not so good for the user maybe. So that's a loss of a, of a point or two because it, it's probably gonna be more expensive for you to get um, accessories for this. But if you're, if you're happy with that, restraint then this is a great product i really like it a lot uh, in terms of what it offers for the money the tom tom bandit camera as usual if you've enjoyed this review please uh, subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more cool stuff thanks very much